Hi guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel. So in this tutorial we are going to be making candles and this time we are going to be doing a coconut themed candle. So let's get started. So you're not going to need a lot for this tutorial. I am using today a coconut shaped bowl. So this is actually from a coconut shell that has been made into a bowl so I feel like it is kind of perfect for this. Some wood wicks, so depending on the size of your bowl just depend on the size of the woodwork you should go for. These are a size 2, they might be a tiny bit big for this but I just didn't want to go and buy like a whole another packet when I've got so many of these. Um, but obviously the bigger your bowl, the bigger your wick should be to compensate for the amount of wax. So if you've got a really big bowl and you only use a small thin wick, it's not going to burn through the wax at the same time it burns through the wick. So that's just something to remember. I have got some coconut and lime essence and this is from Aussie Candle Supplies. Uh, the wax that I am using today is coconut as well so that's just going to add like a little bit of extra uh, fragrance to this. And then I've got some soy wax and then I've also got some coconut wax. So I have just pre-shaded this coconut wax up, it does normally come in a bar. Um, but I've just made it in to the same sort of consistency as my soy wax. The first step that I'm going to do, and if you've watched my other candle tutorials, is just portion out my wax. So for whatever size your container is, I normally do two, and then once it melts down, it actually fits really perfectly into your container. So I'm actually going to do one and a half cups of my soy wax and then half a cup of my coconut wax. Uh, your coconut wax is really soft and really malleable um, and has a really um, low pore temperature of 43 degrees. So I'm going to melt all of that together and I'm just going to do the double boil method and once that gets to 43 degrees that's when I'm going to add in my essence um, and then pour it into my bowl. While I'm waiting for my wax to get to the right temperature and melt, I'm going to add my wick into my coconut bowl. I got this coconut bowl just off my Amazon store, so if you want to do this, you can just click on the description down below and it will have a link to this product. And you need your wick and your clip. You can also use uh, your traditional wicks. You don't need to do, use a wood wick. I just think it's going to be really lovely for this and a little wick clip. So you just use that to clip your wick into place. And then I'm gonna be using a hot glue gun just to make sure that it doesn't move. You can also use sticky dots. And if you don't have either of those, you can use a little bit of tape because once the wax gets poured on it, it holds it all into place. But you just don't want it floating around while the wax is still really liquidy and soft and fluid. So with your clip and your wood wick, you just need to slide that into place. And then I'm just going to add a little dot of glue down at the bottom and then place it in to my bowl. So it's a pretty simple process. And there you go, then I'm just going to leave that to dry and it will dry pretty fast because it's hot glue and then I can put my candle wax in now. Now it's time to just add my essence in. So this is the coconut and lime essence and you want to add anywhere from 5 to 10% for the ratio of wax that you're going to be using. 
um, and you want to add it when it's at that perfect melt and pour point. So because this is coconut and soy based wax, it's around 43 degrees. Just depends on the brand you use. So if you don't use the same brand that I'm using, just double check what's the perfect pour. So I'm going to add probably 10% because I want this to be super fragrant, but it's really personal preference. So all I've got to do now is just pour my wax. And then I just like to cut my wicks across to make sure they're level uh, with my bowl. You can also cut your wick before you pour your wax in. Uh, it's just personal preference. I just left it till afterwards. But I feel like this looks super pretty and oh my god, it smells so good. Thank you guys so much for watching this little tutorial on how to make your own coconut scented coconut candle in your coconut candle bowl um, I really like this I think it would look really pretty as well as just like a display piece but it smells so good um, because we use the coconut wax and the coconut essence so it does have that really tropical vibe and smell to it if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help me out and lets YouTube know to show this to more people and if you're new to my channel please do subscribe as I post new videos every week and everything to do with arts, craft, DIY, everything under the creative sun so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching.